Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to another Yeltes webinar. Uh, I'm Marcos, and today we're going to discuss about uh, traders and more specifically about what Yeltes Diagnostics has to offer in this regard, which is a lot. Today, I'm not alone. I'm glad to be here with uh, Mr. Brian Bott from Triad Diagnostic Solutions. Uh, he is uh, right here by my side. He's probably one of the professionals uh, with deeper knowledge and more experience in the, this uh, diagnostics world. And he will be sharing with us uh, his insights and feedback about this uh, topic of today. Before starting, remember that you have the chat available, uh, the, the, the chat window available for your questions. Uh, my colleague Alex is gonna be there uh, supporting and giving the answers. And of course, don't forget to follow us in our social media uh, to be always up to date about everything that is new in Yaltes. All right, so let's uh, take a look at the structure of today's webinar. Um, first of all, we will start explaining why with Yaltes we will be always safe when it comes to diagnostics on trailers, uh, regardless of the type of trailer that uh, we're working on. After that, uh, we will directly go through the specific systems and capabilities that we're going to find in Yaltes for trailers. And in this sense, uh, remember that trailers are included uh, within the commercial vehicles model. Uh, we will finish the webinar with the intervention and the interesting comments of uh, our special guest, uh, Mr. Brian. All right. So let's begin with a quick overview of the most common trailers in the market and see which are the main differences between them. Uh, we're gonna find two uh, big or main categories depending on uh, how they go attached to the truck. Uh, on the one hand, we have what we know as a full trailer. These ones will have all the weight supported by their own axles uh, back and front, and they are connected to the truck by a hook. So they just need to be pulled. On the other hand, uh, the semi-trailer, which is going to be, uh, which is going to have only uh, about half of the weight supported by their own axles in the back, and the other half supported by the back of the semi-truck. In this case, uh, the trailer uh, is connected by a kingpin and uh, the cold fifth wheel. Then, within these two main groups, uh, we can find many different uh, specific uh, types of trailers that are designed to transport different types and sizes of cargo, as for example, the dry, the standard dry van, the reefers, the flatbed, etc. However, and despite of uh, all these differences, they all will have something in common. They all have control units, they all have computers. Therefore, it is important to mention here that for um, a diagnostics perspective, it doesn't really matter uh, what's the type of trailer that we're working on or who was the manufacturer of the trailer. Uh, the reason is easy and is that uh, we just care about the computers or the electronic models that they have, which will be uh, present in, in all of them, regardless of the manufacturer and regardless of the type of trailer. Let's take a look to the trailer systems that uh, we will find in Jaltes and which are, uh, which are mainly three, uh, ABS, refrigeration, and wheel pressure. For these systems, uh, Jaltes is going to provide electronic diagnostics together with the repair guides for the different fault codes. We're going to see in a little bit and with, uh, within the software how Jaltes will guide and help the technicians to go through the repair of these uh, active fault codes. However, it's always important to remember that Jaltes is not just diagnostics, since uh, it also provides, or since it also is going to allow the performance of uh, advanced uh, controls, as for example, parameter settings, calibrations, system checks, live data monitoring, and so on. Not only that, uh, it also shows technical data or technical information like uh, wearing schematics, maintenance intervals, component pictures, component locations, uh, technical bulletins issued by the uh, original manufacturer, and so on. Also, I would like to add, sorry about that. Also, I would like to add 
uh, a quick note here and say that in addition to these three and for the European market, uh, GELTES is also going to cover electronic suspension controls. And I say this because it wouldn't be unreasonable to think that these systems could be used in the North American market in the near future. Uh, therefore, as you can see, uh, GELTES is not ready just for the present, but also for what is coming. Coming back to the features, uh, it must be mentioned here as well that in addition to the electronic diagnostics that we offer, um, the solution is also going to offer a manual diagnostics option uh, for diagnosing the blinking sequences. This feature will be very useful in a specific moments, as for example, with the road assistance or the road service. Uh, just keep in mind that through manual diagnostics, it won't be possible to check ABS sensors, modulators, and so on. Uh, just get access to the full code, the travel shooting, and the technical information. And of course, the information or the description of the full code won't be as descriptive, informative, or specific as the description of the electronic full code is going to be. Remember also that uh, trailers manufactured since 2001 are required to support PLC communication and have ABS lamps. So thanks to this important change in the industry, today we're able to diagnose trailers through diagnostic solutions like the others. So all in all, uh, we can conclude this uh, first part uh, saying that when it comes to diagnostics on trailers, uh, Jaltes is probably uh, the most advanced and complete uh, all make solutions that we're going to find in the in the market. Let's move on and see the different trailer systems included in Yaltes and let's just start um, with the ABS systems. We're going to be able to work with uh, pretty much every model that is in the market going from the most common uh, most common ones manufactured by Bendix and Meritor Wapco Two other solutions uh, like Haldex, uh, the Gen, uh, Gen 2 from Globtech, or the ones from Wabash. Note that only between Bendix and Meritor, uh, we will be uh, covering already over the 90% of the ABS systems that are uh, currently in the market. Okay. Uh, just to go a little bit more into details within these manufacturers, if we take a look at Bendix, uh, we will find the uh, TABS-6, uh, TABS-MC30, and TABS-A18, all right? Within the TABS-6, which is the most popular one, um, we will find the different configurations, like a standard, advanced, and advanced multi-channel, which seems to be the most popular between these three on these days. When it comes to Meritor Wapco, uh, Jaltes will cover uh, the Enhanced Easy Stop, TCS2, the RSS, and the RSS Plus Basic, as well as other, other models. Same, the same thing with Haldex, uh, where we will find, for example, the ITCM from uh, 2019. And uh, when it comes to the connectors uh, needed, for most of these systems, uh, we could directly use the PLC connector if we have the tractor connected. And then if we didn't have the trailer attached to the tractor, uh, we could still run diagnostics by using this uh, black little piece that you have on the right and connecting our adapter to an external power supply or battery, as for example, with the cigarette lighter uh, plugged to your, to your car. All right, um, but which are going to be the most important functions or functionalities for these ABS systems? So let's take a look. Um, the ABS modulator test, uh, through which we can check the modulators individually and in this way verify that they are functioning well, that the wiring uh, to the control unit is correct, and also to verify that their location in the wheels and axles is, is right. Also, uh, we're going to have the check for the wheel speed um, that we will perform if we wanted to check, for example, if the sensors are installed or that there are not problems on the wiring. Just take into, con into consideration that uh, this test won't necessarily tell us the sensors are currently installed, 
or that they are indicating the correct speed. If, for example, we do this test and we see that one of the sensors is giving us a zero, it could mean that the sensor is probably incorrectly installed. It could be a little bit separated from the wheel and therefore not being measuring properly. Also note that uh, the speed may vary depending on the size of the wheel and the number of the teeth of the wheel ring gear. By the way, uh, and related to this, uh, we will also be able to adjust or set both of them with Jaltes, uh, the size of the wheel and the number of the teeth. As you probably know, uh, when it comes to the tire size, uh, the value will be set in revolutions by mile and it is usually around 500. Obviously, in order to perform uh, this uh, wheel speed test, uh, we will uh, make the wheels rotate which can be done uh, with uh, an on-road test using a roller test bench or with the help of a hydraulic jack to make the wheels rotate manually. In this way, we could verify that the component is not broken and that it is not uh, in, the, in, the right, in the right position. When it comes to the end-of-line test, uh, it will check every component of the system and make sure that everything is working as it should. Uh, it's going to check ABS lamps, uh, modulators, speed sensors, and so on. This test must be carried out after reprogramming the control unit. And um, as a curious fact about uh, this test, uh, just saying that in Europe, every time that you change a parameter, uh, you get a full code that forces you to make this end-of-line test. Uh, so that you verify that everything is correct. Again, uh, that's in Europe nowadays, so we don't know what's going to happen here in the near future. In any case, Jaltes is going to be ready for that. Then we also have the control unit replacement, and this one is super important as well. So let's say that we are changing or replacing a control unit in our trailer by a new one. So in this case, we have two options. Both of them, they can be carried out with Jaltes. The first one is to go over the different parameters, adjusting them manually one by one, as we wish, or we could just create a copy of the configuration of our current ECU, save it in Jaltes, and then paste it in the new one so that we keep the previous configuration in the new uh, control unit. Also, uh, sensors and modulators configuration. Uh, that means that we will be able to uh, let the control units know which is the correct configuration that we have in our trailer so that it can work accordingly. Uh, so it could be 2S, 1M, 2S, 2M, 4S, 2M, and so on and so on. And finally, the calibration of the high uh, sensor, which uh, will be necessarily uh, perform uh, after the replacement of the components such as the control unit itself or the high, cons uh, high sensor. Okay, so let's now jump into the software uh, to quickly see uh, how to connect to the trailer, uh, how to connect to one of these ABS systems and to find these uh, functionalities. And that in order to connect to the system itself from the main screen, you can just go to trailer, okay? And then um, once in, in trailer, you're going to see the different system possibilities. So in this case, we'll just filter by ABS trailer. And I was saying that uh, just for this example, I'm going to use one of the most common ones in the market, which is the Enhanced Easy Stop, the TCS2. And that's interesting because here, when you click on this button on the connection guidance, you will find uh, as I was saying, the information regarding the position of the connector in the track or the, the port in the track or in the trailer, information about the pinout and information about the cables that you're going to need with the references, of course, and uh, the different connection possibilities. Okay. As you can see, in this case, for example, we will need to use a power supply because we won't, we won't have the, the track. Uh, so we need to, to get external battery. Okay. So different possibilities. Once we have selected our scenario, we just click on connect on the top and we access the system. Okay, so we were here. So uh, pretty much uh, I was just entering in these different modules. Uh, we will see a little bit later uh, about the, the full codes reading and clearing. 
but uh, I was most more interested in this case in showing you the specific functionalities for the ABS, uh, the bidirectional controls. So in this case, we can activate the modulators and perform this, this test, okay? And make sure that they are uh, functioning well. Also, we can activate or actuate the trailer IBS warning lamp. And then within system checks, uh, we can perform wheel speed test, sensors orientation, end of line. And here is where we were working. So as you can see, first step, information about the procedure, what we're gonna be checking, speed sensors, modulators, battery warning lamp. We click on the check mark and we can see the initial conditions that have to be met okay before starting the process okay that's going to be just for uh, testing the battery and then as as long as we continue here we will uh we will do the rest of the check-ins okay i'm going to just uh, cancel this process to get back and keep showing you more options if we go to parameters uh, we can play with the configuration we can see which is our current configuration and we can uh, change to the to the new one okay as you can see in this case, for example, we will be working in the 4S, four sensors, three moderators, okay? And this is gonna be our wheel teeth and their revolutions per mile, okay, and the size. So if we go back here, we can also change the system configuration after entering the expert mode code, as always, whenever we change parameters or whenever we perform calibrations, okay? So here you can see the different system configurations possible, 2S, 2M, or S, 2M, and so for S, 3M, and so on. So if we click on the check mark, we see the current configuration, and we can change it, okay? Very, very easy, okay? Then uh, more things here. We can change the tire size, as I was saying before, we can change the number of the teeth of the wheel ring gear so that the information that is being shown is uh, correct, okay? Finally, in maintenance, we can also configure the next maintenance service and set out the miles, okay? When we, when we, when we want to get the, the alarm, okay? So different options here. Okay, I'm gonna get back to the, to the presentation. All right, so let's continue. And uh, here, Jaltes is go, uh, let's, let's go right now with the refrigeration system. And uh, here, Jaltes is going to provide coverage for the two main manufacturers, uh, which are gonna be Carrier and Thermokin. Important, important, very important to be mentioned that each of these manufacturers will require a specific connectors, a specific connector that you can get from your Jaltes distributor, okay? In fact, for Carrier, uh, we are going to release a second one, uh, which is the JDC 121A9. That is the one that you have in the screen in the right side. And uh, that's going to be necessary to connect to the Vector 1350 system. Okay, so if you have this part particular system and you want to diagnose it and uh, play with it, uh, just make sure to uh, get in touch with your distributor and ask about this, uh, this cable that is about to be released. Okay, also, Take into account that uh, these systems are much uh, simpler, simpler or simpler than the ABS ones. Uh, and the electronic controls that we're gonna find in the engine that is generating the cold are very few or are very simple. And even sometimes they don't even exist. These units, uh, they are gonna work uh, pretty much through alarms and through displays. Therefore, for these systems, the main thing will be the capability to perform diagnostics as well as to read or access uh, the light data monitoring uh, to check mainly temperatures and uh, pressures, okay? So we're gonna get back to the software and I would like to show you very quickly uh, the monitoring side, um, all right? And we're gonna use for that uh, the carrier vector system. So I'm gonna stop sharing this and it will just go to Jaldus. All right, you can see it, right? Alex, uh, could you please confirm that uh, we, we are showing the, the software? Yes, we are back in the test. Thank you, man. All right, so uh, let's go to Trader here, and once again, and um, 
instead of going through ABS system, uh, through ABS trailer, we're going to go through a refrigeration system. And for that, we'll just focus on the carrier vector. So even from here, from the uh, this menu, we will have the direct access to the system display. So we can uh, immediately check the measurements. That's going to be a, a good shortcut over there. Okay, of course, we, we will connect by using the specific connector. And uh, we have the, the, the system display, uh, which is going to be interesting because you cannot only see the different measurements. You can see pressures, uh, temperatures, and so on, but you can also make an idea on how this system is going to is going to work, you know, with this uh, diagram, all right? So this is live data monitoring, as I was saying. Um, again, uh, for these uh, simple systems, uh, temperatures and pressures are going to be the, the main thing, okay? Perfect. So I'm going to get back to the presentation. All right. There it is. Okay, so we're going to continue uh, with the... Let's, uh, one second, there it is. We're going to continue with the wheel pressure systems. Um, and here it's important to mention that although their presence in the market seems to be just beginning or is not very expanded, Yaltes is already offering coverage for the main systems uh, such as uh, Haldex, Norbrems, uh, JTPM. S and so on. These systems are also very simple. Uh, they work mainly uh, with two components. Uh, on the one hand, the control unit, on the other hand, the sensors that are going to be installed internally in the wheels and that uh, they're usually wireless. The sensors will measure basically pressures and temperatures from each wheel. And these systems will support different functionalities such as diagnostics, to see if the sensors or the ECU are broken and the measurements and the config and configuration of the alarms. For example, uh, we, can set, uh, we can set it in a way and that we are notified whenever the pressure is below the PSI or the temperature we have previously set, or the temperature is, uh, is below the, the temperature that we have previ previously set, okay? Um, so um, that's going to be pretty much everything that is going to be uh, covered by Jaltel when it comes to uh, bidirectional controls, bidirectional uh, actuations. Okay, and um, before going through the last part of the presentation where uh, uh, Brian is going to give us uh, his feedback, his insights, and uh, his experience, I would like to get back to the software to show you how is the Jaltel's approach to the diagnostics, how we can just read full codes and from the full code, we can go through the help that um, is, is going to be uh, supporting the repair. Okay, so just give me one second and we'll go through that right now. Okay, so we're back in the software. And uh, just for that, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use uh, let's say for example another of the most common ABS systems, which is gonna be the TABS six from Mendix, and uh, we just click on connect to go faster. Connect. And if you remember when we were shown before the the menu, the first option. It was read for codes. So we will just come here, read for codes, and we're going to see the information. So uh, important here, uh, going from the left to the right, and the first column is going to be uh, the status of the full code. Um, if we get read, uh, red codes is going to be active full code. It's going to, if uh, we have it in a gray color, it's going to be non-active. Okay, it's going to be a still. Uh, stored in the ECU memory, but it's going to be non-active. Um, then the second column is going to show you the proprietary code, proprietary information, uh, amount of repetitions, and the description of the full code. Okay, so that's going to be the first part of the screen. And then what is more important, which is more interesting, and what is going to take Jaltes to the next step, to the next level, is going to be these three buttons on the right, which are going to be uh, freeze frame data, help and components related to the fault and the troubleshooting itself. 
So we're gonna focus, for example, in the first one, okay? We have this full code, uh, sensor write wheel speed sensor, okay? If we click on freeze frame data, we're gonna see information about the occurrence, so we can we can know or we can see when the fault code happened. Okay, that's gonna be a kind of snapshot or kind of photo uh, that was taken when the fault code came. So we have this information about the time, about the date. Okay. Also, we will have uh, information about the status of different uh, lamps, system state, and this is just a demo mode. In a real case. Here in this screen, we can also have uh, information about the speeds, pressures, and so on. So depending on the component, depending on the sensor, we will get more or less information. But uh, it's still interesting for the mechanic to access this information uh, for the repair. We're going to jump to the second tab, help and components of the fault. And here is interesting because we're going to see which is the component or which is the sensor related to our fault code. In this, game, in this case, the main ABS wheel speed sensor, the right wheel. Uh, you wanna see more information about this component, you're gonna come here and you will click. And uh, for example, uh, you're gonna find uh, information about what this uh, particular sensor uh, is doing, uh, the function, uh, some information according to the manufacturer, and then uh, you're gonna see uh, the real picture, okay? Most of the cases you will see the uh, location of the component in the trailer. Uh, you will get also information regarding operational uh, values, like uh, resistances, uh, also temperature ranges, signal shape, minimum voltage, and so on. Even information for the installation, uh, depending on the different configurations, like two sensors, one modulator for the dolly as well, 2S, 2M, and so on and so on. We, skill, we, we keep scrolling down. And as you can see, even if you want to remove or you want to reinstall this particular wheel speed sensors, uh, you can access to the step-by-step -step procedure by clicking here. And uh, the good thing is that these step-by-step -step procedures are gonna be integrated in Jaltes. So that means that you, you don't need to exit the software, you don't need to go to the user's manual for this particular manufacturer, it's gonna be included here. Even if you wanna check uh, uh, what this uh, particular sensor is measuring right now, you can click here and go to measurements, okay? So that's gonna be from the uh, information screen related to the full code. Also, if you click in this button, go to diagrams, you're gonna see how the wheel speed sensor is gonna be located in your wiring. Uh, we just need to pick the configuration of our trailer. So let's imagine that we're working with the first one and we can see the uh, specific wiring schematic for that. And uh, the interesting thing uh, about the wiring schematics in Jaltes is that they're gonna be dynamic. So they're gonna show you the component that we're working on, that we're looking on. Okay, so in this case, as you can see, it's in blue, cool, in blue color, highlighted. And if you hover over the mouse, you can see the preview of the component and you can see how it is connected to the socket, to the control unit. So in this case, we're working in the socket two, pins number one and number two. So in this case, it's very simple, but if we're working with a control unit with, um, I don't know, 40, 50 different uh, pins, that's gonna be a little bit more uh, complicated. So all this guidance is gonna be always super helpful uh, to find the pins and to make sure that the, both cables and pins are in a, in a good shape or everything is properly connected, okay? So here's information with the pinouts for the different configurations for this particular ABS system. And you can see advanced, advanced multi-channel. Even you can see where the control unit is gonna be located, okay? Pinouts and so on. And more information here, all right? Operational values and so on. So that's gonna be pretty useful. Uh, remember that you can always print this, uh, this uh, PDF uh, format uh, wiring schematics, or you can look for more components by using this menu here or by filtering your search here on this bar, okay? I'm gonna get back to the diagnostic menu because in addition to everything that we have mentioned, uh, last but not least, uh, we have the uh, fault code troubleshooting, okay? 
So that's going to be, again, a step-by-step -step procedure on how to go through the uh, solving of the, on this particular uh, fault code, OK? It's going to be in a troubleshooting tree, and uh, it's going to take you through the, through the procedure. As you can see, we are narrowing down the process. Uh, it's not just about changing the component, but we give you all the information so you can uh, check every little detail. And maybe you just have a, a, the cable or the wire connected in the wrong place, and that's why it's not working properly. So we give you all the information so you can check everything. So as you can see, step-by-step -step procedure. Uh, the good thing is that you can expand the different steps. And in every step, you have further information. Actually, if you need to perform some test or any calibration or to change some parameters or see some measurements or something, uh, we're going to give you the link to do that uh, within the steps, OK? So once you've finished, of course, the, the last step is going to be always uh, to clear the full codes and to verify that the problem has been solved, OK? So that's going to be our approach to diagnostics, OK? Uh, not just giving you the full code information, but also all the repair information that is linked to the full code so, to, so that you can go through the problem. So as I promised at the beginning, uh, we have here uh, today with me, um, we're very lucky to have uh, Brian, Mr. Brian Bott from Triad Diagnostic Solutions. And um, he's going to tell us a little bit more about his experience with uh, the traders uh, and Jaltes and how he believes that uh, Jaltes is helping the repairers or the mechanics with uh, with these systems. So Mr. Brian, welcome. Thank you for, for staying here with us today. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, as Starting out as a technician and being able to work with technicians, one of the great features about jaw test is the ability to go between the truck, the trailer, the reefer system, and all the different components on the vehicles. One of the features that really wasn't covered in this is some of the vehicles have the capability to read the trailer through the connection of the nine pin. So when you're connected to the truck, you can see all the fault codes in the trailer at the same time, which does make the repair a lot quicker sometimes. So you can see what's going on if there's a, a problem that you're not aware of, mm -hmm. especially with some of these shops. Mm -hmm. So most of your tire repair shops plug into the vehicle when you have a check engine light. And we've caught a few of the issues with the trailer before they get a ticket going down the road from the trailer ABS light on the mm -hmm. side. But with the Thermal King and the carrier even being added, it gives more benefit to the tool because no other tool in the market really covers all that area. Mm -hmm. All right, so thank you so much, uh, Brian, for this uh, insight. Thank you for staying with us today. Um, so that's going to be pretty much everything that we have for, for you today, guys, uh, related to the to the traders and uh, our coverage for that. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed the, the webinar. If you had some question, uh, probably Alejandro was already on the answer there. Um, I'm going to show you, well, actually, you can see on your screen our uh, contact information, just in case you, you want to uh, send us your, your questions or something, or you want to check more information about Jaltes, just go to these uh, couple of websites, or just send us an email over there, or give us a call, and we will be happy to, to help. All right? So um, if there are, let me double check the, the question. Alejandro, uh, there are questions over there? I don't think so. There is no more All right. questions. Yep. Okay, so that will be everything. Uh, thank you so much again for joining us today, and uh, see you soon in more judges webinars. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye bye. Bye bye.